Biosecurity means taking steps to prevent the introduction and spread of infectious disease on your farm. This leads to increased production efficiency, creates better animal welfare, reduces the use of antimicrobials and wormers, and creates safer, healthier food. But where do you start? Well, don't rush off to tackle all the diseases you can think of. Instead, work with your vet to identify the one or two diseases that are causing you the most trouble and put all your energy into tackling them first. Two livestock diseases of high economic importance where biosecurity is critical to disease control are sheep scab and bovine viral diarrhoea, or BVD. Sheep scab is a highly contagious disease caused by the mite Seroptis ovus, which infests the skin surface causing intense itching, restlessness, wool loss, yellowish scabs, bleeding wounds, loss of production, and in some severe cases, death. BVD is a contagious viral disease of cattle. The disease may cause infertility and abortion, respiratory and gut disease, and again, in some severe cases, can be fatal. The main source of the virus is from persistently infected animals, known as PIs. These are animals which have been infected in the uterus before birth. PIs will always carry the virus, and therefore it's really important that these animals are culled. If PI animals are removed, then the disease will die out in your herd. The BVD virus can also be spread by contact of susceptible animals with infected ones such as at markets or over the fence, and this is known as transient infection. Transiently infected cattle will shed infectious virus for several weeks, during which time they present a risk to other cattle. When looking at these or any other diseases, a good place to start is the Biosecurity Big Five Checklist. Livestock Movement Quarantine diagnostic tests and preventative vaccines, hygiene and health plans. Livestock movement is the most likely way to introduce disease onto your farm. In an ideal world, you would run a closed herd or a flock, but failing this, buy a replacement stock from accredited or trusted sources. It's sensible to always check the disease status of any newly purchased or returning animals, even if it's just from the local show. It's vital also to be aware of the fact that infested sheep may not show any clinical signs for weeks or even months after infestation. With BVD, there are official eradication schemes active in both Scotland and Northern Ireland, with voluntary schemes available in the rest of the UK. Always keep introduced animals isolated and ensure best practice quarantine conditions, ideally in a building well away from other animals. Quarantine advice for sheep scab is to treat with an approved product effective against sheep scab mites and isolate them for at least two weeks. During this time, observe the quarantine sheep for any scratching, wool pools or rubs. Now it's worth remembering that as well as transferring directly from sheep to sheep, sheep scab mites can live off host for 16 to 19 days, meaning that fences, loose wool, sheds, transport, etc. can all be sources of infection. The BVD status of cattle should be checked prior to purchase. In countries such as Scotland, where eradication schemes are compulsory, the BVD status of all breeding cattle must be known. Irrespective of official BVD status, all bought-in or returning animals should always be quarantined in isolation, in a separate building, until test results are known. Nose-to-nose -nose contact over fences to neighbouring farms should always be minimised to help prevent transmission of the virus to healthy animals. Double fencing with a gap of at least 3 metres is recommended. Remember, different diseases will have different quarantine conditions and time periods. Therefore, always check the requirements for each disease.
Nowadays, we've got a wide selection of tools to use when it comes to diagnostics and preventative vaccines for many livestock diseases. Sheep scratch for many reasons, so making assumptions can cost you time and money. Remember that in the early stages of sheep scab infestation, there will be no evident clinical signs. The new diagnostic for sheep scab, which has been developed by scientists at Morden, is very effective at diagnosing early infestation. You only need to take a blood sample from a small proportion of the herd, say a dozen from a group of up to 2,000 sheep. Treat all sheep in a group diagnosed with sheep scab with an approved product. BVD can spread through a herd. And if cattle are in early pregnancy at the time they first encounter the virus, either the cattle will abort or any calves born will be persistently infected. There are effective diagnostic tests available for BVD, including a blood test. Retesting a month later will identify the persistently infected animals, the PIs in the herd. These animals should then be culled. Vaccinating is a very effective way of preventing BVD. Breeding females should be vaccinated to prevent the infection leading to the birth of PI offspring. This should be done before first service, and booster vaccinations are essential. Knowing disease status is important, and prevention is always better than cure. Hygiene is very important when preventing disease. Always practice good hygiene, including the use of effective disinfectants. Remember, not all disinfectants are effective against all pathogens. Therefore, it's crucial you choose a disinfectant that will kill the pathogen you are aiming to control. Remember, sheep scab mites can live off the host animal, so it's very important to disinfect any shared equipment between flocks. Provision of good environmental conditions will also lead to a reduced risk of infection. Clean, well-ventilated and well-bedded housing all help to promote good health and reduce pathogen numbers. To help prevent the spread of the BVD virus, always use a disinfectant foot bath and brush at the entrance to the shed housing potentially infected animals. Wash or change clothing before entering and exiting. You can help control the spread of disease by developing flock and herd health plans in consultation with your vet. This allows you to create a disease control strategy before busy times such as lambing or calving which can save you many headaches. These plans ensure preventative vaccines and diagnostics are used at the correct time, as well as screening and regular monitoring. Healthier livestock will increase the production efficiency and profitability of your farm. By following the Biosecurity Big Five, you can prevent or control many key diseases. Always remember to check information on each specific disease. So follow the Biosecurity Big Five checklist. Livestock movement, quarantine, diagnostic tests and preventative vaccines, hygiene and health plans. At Morden, we are continuing to research into many key livestock diseases, focusing on diagnostics, vaccines and disease control strategies all aimed at improving disease prevention in your flocks and herds. If you'd like more information on biosecurity advice, please visit the Morden website.